MATLAB has a special graphical user interface for designing and analyzing spectral windows called as Windows Design and Analysis Tool. To start with Window Design and Analysis Tool, type Win Tool on the command window. The Window Design and Analysis Tool opens with a default 64 point Hamming window. The Win Tool consists of total three window panels the Window Viewer, Window List, and Current Window Information. The window viewer displays the selected window in time and frequency domain representations. Below the plots, there are three window measurements shown, leakage factor, relative side lobe attenuation and main lobe width. Leakage factor is the ratio of power of the side lobes to the total window power, whereas relative side lobe attenuation informs the difference in the height of the main lobe with the highest side lobe whereas the main lobe width is the width of the main lobe. Window list. Window list consists of the list of the windows currently displayed on the window viewer whereas the current window information consists of the information of the window that is displayed on the window viewer. So we understand is window 1 is a window that is displayed in the window viewer then uh, this appears in the name field of the current window information. The type of the window that is displayed is the Hamming window identified by the type field of the current window information. The length of the window is 64 point as seen in the plot time domain plot and the type of the sampling is symmetric. We can now select a different type of the window by choosing the type of window field, the type window field. The windows supported by Win tool are Bartlett, Bartlett Hanning, Blackman, Gaussian, Hamming, Rectangular and so on. Let us choose a different window function. Let us choose a rectangular window. Let us change the length of the window to a length suppose 100. Select the apply field to apply this changes. So you can see the window viewer is now displaying the rectangular window and its frequency domain representation. The factors measurement factors have also changed accordingly. Let us now add a new window to the window list. To add a new window click on a click on the add a new window button. So it adds a sep different window with the name window 2. This window 2 if you look carefully is by default again the Hamming window of length 64. So now you have two windows window 2 and window 1 in the window list. You can view both the windows simultaneously by selecting uh, both the windows in the window list. So this displays the rectangular window as well as the Hamming window in time and frequency domain together in the window viewer. You can click on the button full view analysis to observe the time and frequency domain plots separately. Win tool helps you to add a legend function to the plot to identify the plots. So the plot in blue is window 1 which is the rectangular window whereas the plot in green is the Hamming window of length 64. So this way you can have a comparison of the frequency characteristics of both the windows together. Win tool provides you a feature called as save to workspace. You can directly click onto this button to export the window coefficients to workspace. So I click onto this button. Let us minimize the win tool. 
and now observe the workspace. So both window 1 and window 2 coefficients are now added to the workspace. Window 1 are the coefficients are the 100 coefficients corresponding to the rectangular window whereas window 2 are the 64 coefficients corresponding to Hamming window. You can observe these coefficients by typing the variable name window 1 on the command window. So, this is the rectangular window whereas if I now type window 2 we get the coefficients for the Hamming window. So, this way you can easily use these variables in, in other applications directly.